right here. Hey folks, recipe for Pete Lowe's on his uh, YouTube channel. Here's Monica. Hello, Monica. What are we uh, making right now? What's it called? Tartatin. Tartatin. And what are we doing for this tartatin? Uh, melting butter and maple syrup and the apples and just cooking it down before cooking it goes down. in the oven. Sweet. And this is like a version of what it's like making an apple pie, but without making the the uh, pastry, right? It's going to be a well, no, fluffier. Well, no, so you can, it's basically an inverted pie, but it's just like a French type of pie. Oh, good. So right now you're just melting it, and then once you melt it, we're going to put the, the butter of the apples in there. She got some uh, cin uh, not cinnamon, but vanilla. Picked up by Costco. And cinnamon. Hey. And cinnamon. And cinnamon. Yes. So then she got some cinnamon sticks, and she you also. You can season it however you want. You can put star anise in it if you like that flavor. Nutmeg if you want a little bit more fall autumnal flavors. But I'm just gonna go with simple apple mm -hmm. pie flavor. Sounds good. You know, yes, and there she put this, as you can see, the cinnamon sticks right there. Make our size. And then these uh, apples we picked at, uh, where the type of apples are they? Mount, they're Lobo. Lobos. Yeah, we picked that the Mountain at, Orchards. Yeah, Mountain Orchards. In Ontario, Canada. Maybe it would be close to where? Mountain. No, no, it's just about to be close to a mountain. South Mountain? Sure, but... Isn't Mountain bigger than South Mountain? I don't Campville. know. Campville. Campville, yeah. Campville would be the best, yes. All right, so we're going to press pause, folks, just to um, just let it uh, simmer a bit more, and then uh, we'll, we'll show you again how to do it some more. All right, folks. Hello, folks. We're back at it. Now that the uh, butter is browned, she's adding some syrup. And that's going to do what, Monica? gonna make it delicious yeah you would say how much you're adding you're just eyeballing it or is there a certain amount you think you add like a quarter of a cup a half a cup of maple syrup no idea no idea um, maybe half a cup half a cup yeah you know just enough for like for this pan and for that amount of apples yeah Adding the cinnamon stick in there. As you can see, it's bubbly now, right? We just ended up closing the lid because our frying pan wasn't too, too hot. <clears throat> so we closed the lid a bit just to get her warmed up. So she starts bubbling. You can see. Nice. want to reduce it for a little bit yeah. before adding the vanilla and then the apples. And just to let you know, this is a 14 inch cast iron frying pan. Pick that bad boy up at Cabela's. There you go, folks. All right, so we'll put on uh, pause and uh, start her back up when she's ready to put the apples in there. Okay, hello, folks. Right now, it's getting to the thickening point. All right, she's mixing it. You want it to kind of get gold and brown, just a little thick. Right, not thick, but just like a good little you mean you would say reduced yeah reduced right and who you say we should uh, thank uh, for this inspiration uh half baked harvest mm -hmm. if you guys don't follow her already uh her recipes are amazing on instagram half baked harvest sweet so now she's adding the vanilla Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. You should see it smells just like so like caramel. Mm. You probably could put some brandy in here if you really wanted to. You know to. what we should put? Maybe? Suck Sure. Yeah, I should go get some. I'll go get some, folks. Okay, hold on. She'll explain to you. She'll just hold on to this while she's explaining while I go get it. No, I won't. No? Okay, well, I'll pause it and I'll come right back. I figured I'd get uh, some Suck Tlage. It's a nice whiskey. Very delicious. You should try this out. Pick that up at LCBO. Monica will put some on there, give it a little, little pizzazz. Mm. 
so smooth, this, this liquor here. Mm. As you can see, we've already finished quite a few of that. Uh, well, you get those in little shot glasses to some guests or whatnot, or just for a nice little uh, night apéritif. Delicious stuff. You should check it out. Sortilège. They have that kind, and they have the uh, cream, creamy kind. So now she's going to act, add the apples to it. No, carefully. I'm going to hold it? Yeah, so I can say it. Hold on, I'll go up. Oh, guys, it smells just like, um, I would say it smells just like... Um, no, not, no, oh, you're too high. Too high? Okay, okay. Just like uh, cinnamon bun. the water, oh, the water in here. and well it's actually lemon juice that's another thing too she put lemon juice in the apples so that they don't go they don't turn brown good okay i see all the lemon juice just to keep the apples from turning so this here Okay, so this is the apples have cooled everything down, so I'm gonna cover you up. All right, we'll be back, folks. All right, folks, <coughs> you can see now we're letting it simmer. And you see how the apples and the sauce now is like a little bit more, obviously more thicker. We added a little bit of, because uh, it was very watery, we added a little bit of this cornstarch. This type. Fisherman's corn okay, so now tell what you said you did, uh, Moni. I made a pot brisé. So it's a little bit of a digression from the... Um, the original recipe that I'm kind of imitating, um, where she used puff pastry, so you can do that. Um, but I just made my own pot de pizze, it's just plain pie dough. And um, so this is going to go into the oven. Oh, and I also put cornstarch because the Lobos released quite a bit of liquid, yeah. as opposed to the honey crisps that she used. Um, and yeah, so I just roughly rolled it out and, um, yeah, it looks kind of rustic, but, uh, it looks, um, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. It's just, you know, it, it, it looks a little bit, uh, kind of cracked on the edges, but I figured it's okay because, you know, coming out of the cast iron, it's, that's going to be its look. Yep, so and what's, what's it going to do now? It's going what? It's going into the oven so that the pie dough bakes. And for what temperature? For how long? 425. For half an hour, but probably not even because the lobos are really breaking down. Um, so yeah. That's there you it. go, folks. All right, we'll show you what it's in uh, after in the oven. All right, folks, we've let it put it in the oven for about, I'd say, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, half an hour. About 20 minutes, half an hour. Okay. You can see how the crust now has you gotten just going brown, see on the edges. Now oh, it's, look. See bubbly, this, this syrup, butter. Look how nice and golden it is. That's all you want, cast iron pan in the oven. And it smells amazing in here, folks. Just a caramel and a smell to it. But it's the, obviously the syrup. But we're gonna let that cool down a bit because it's gonna be hot to the, for the gloves. And then cool it down because then we'll put it on the counter and then we'll show you what it looks like on a plate. All right, see you in a bit. Here we go, folks. This is what it looks like after it's out of the oven. You can see on a plate, that smell that comes out of there is amazing. Oh, it should way. be upside down, but. Yeah, but right now what it is, <clears throat> look at that. And there, oh, it smells, it's undescribable that the smell just, it's so amazing. So you have it, folks. This is the uh, tartin, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like a neck. This, oh, there you go. Okay. There you go, folks. There you have it.